This episode of the Totally Rad Show is brought to you by Jack Threads. Steven Spielberg brings dinosaurs to the small screen this time in the new TV series, Terra Nova. Back in TV land, people, and we are here to talk about Terra Nova, the long time coming series yeah, long time from coming. executive producer Steven Spielberg. Um, it stars Jason O'Mara, who you guys may remember from the uh, remake of Life on Mars. He played the lead in that, a show that we talked about um, here on TRS. And also Stephen Lang, Notably, the sort of badass guy from uh, Avatar. Avatar who uh, reprises, his, reprises role. his role, basically, <laughs> minus the face scars, uh, as the gruff security leader on Terra Nova. So Terra on Nova. A planet that looks a lot like New Zealand. A planet. A planet lush and green. Yeah. And There's even planet the, Avatar. the exact shot from Avatar where she takes the, the pad and swipes the thing onto the pad right. in the medical yeah. office. I have a feeling Avatar, one of the reasons why this was baked for a little while was they went, hmm, yeah. let's get some Navi running around. <laughs> or something. Uh, so Terra Nova follows a family uh, in the year 2149, you know, common trope of sci-fi, world is out of control, way overpopulated, there's population control, there's uh, um, environmental impact, and people stacked on top of each other. And They've then, all seen Highlander 2, The Quickening. Exactly. They know what this future yeah. looks like. Just say, The Quickening. <laughs> uh, so, uh, in this future, they discover this tear in space-time that allows them to teleport people back not 85 million years into the past. So they decide, hey, what better than just to go, yeah, you know what? Now screw this time. Let's just send people back and they can like party back in the in the year 3000 or 2000. Uh, Very important point though. Yes. Not just the past, alternate timeline past, That's right? Yes. Time stream. Time, time stream. stream. Time streams. Time streams. Time streams. Yeah. Uh, Jeffrey Kanata. Yes, sir. Berg. Jeffrey Kanata Berg is my new everybody. The guy covers everybody. <laughs> what did you think of Terra Nova? Was it New Earth? or old sci-fi? Uh, well, it's definitely old sci-fi, and that's the reason that I love the concept. I'm, I'm in love with this concept. It's such a great idea. Specifically setting the concept? Concept! Leaving out other things. It is, uh... It, the concept's so well put together! <laughs> it is. It is. It, it, it's um, a cool idea of not just going into a little bit of the past, going all the way in the past, and doing that as a way of taking people who are in the future, going yeah. super far into the past, um, it's a little bit land of the lost, but with purpose. Yeah, with purpose, and the, so As we they get purposefully it. went there. Yeah, instead Sorry. of like we're just here scientifically. <laughs> oh, stumble. Right. Anyway, and so we get a, what we get is a two-hour season premiere. So it's two mm. episodes, and the first episode, boy, is it chock full of exposition. And let me explain. We're just having a conversation, and oh, you don't remember all that stuff from the history books? Well, let me explain it to you. Hada hada hada. Mm. You know, it's uh, a lot of tap dancing and explaining Jazz stuff. Jazz hands. And it felt very clunky. It felt mm -hmm. very encumbered by the need to do that, as pilots often are, especially mm -hmm. sci-fi pilots. And bravo for a uh, major network doing a hard sci-fi pilot. I mean, we've had sci-fi shows. Uh, you know, your X Files is your your uh, Lost, even. But none of all those are very soft sci-fi. You know, it's well, like Fringe is pretty hardcore sci-fi. Well, but even Fringe, the way you're welcomed into that world is very much like yeah, that's oh, it's true. just you know, it's just FBI, but FBI and, plus. Yeah, and the hard sci-fi is usually on like USA Network, yep. right. yeah, yeah, sci-fi, yeah. sci-fi. Sci yeah, sci yeah. Sci and this, I mean, first two minutes of this is like big shots of Blade Runner world and yeah, yeah, yeah. trains, future train and, you know, yeah. and so bravo for that. I, I'm all for it. As a big fan of sci-fi, I'm all for that. Go on. Unfortunately, the execution of this left a little bit something to be desired. I, I think the second episode, second half of the two-hour premiere, yep. uh, found its footing a little better. There's some really cool, like, paramilitary, fun uh, Marines versus... Uh, dinosaur stuff toward the end of the second episode or the second half. Um, 
but never does the the whole thing coalesce into something that I got that I would be really excited about. Mm, yeah. uh, as excited as I am for the concept. Got it. And I think a lot of that has to do with the cast. None of them seem to gel yet. Maybe that'll happen over the course of more episodes. Mm, okay. And and I also feel like, you know, they're really ambitiously trying to pull off big budget sci-fi movie special effects yeah. on a television budget, yeah. which is super hard to do. And I don't think they did themselves, I don't think the director of these, of, I don't know if it's the same director for both episodes, but whoever directed it, I don't think they did any favors to themselves in the way that it was presented. They don't do any tricks to sort of maximize. Cover it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know how Sp Spielberg did with Jurassic Park in the sense that how it was shot lent its to the the, the manner of the special effects. You right, know, yeah, everything yeah. kind of worked together to. Are you gonna watch more of it? I might. Okay, that sounds like a maybe not. But I that's mean, all right. No, that sounded like a maybe he will. I, a disappointing I, bleed out I'm might. I'm for it, oh, okay. but boy, there wasn't much in those first yeah. two episodes that got me excited. Daniel-san. Um, was the Miyagi, I don't know why it became a Karate Kid thing. Okay. What did you think? <laughs> <laughs> Just to make a claim. Um, I really enjoyed the show, guys. Um, I also was blown away by where it started and like I feel like we never have seen that world uh, done in this way in TV like it just like felt like this is fifth element like we never see production value like that yeah. it really was stunning and I loved the first uh, this is where I disagree with some of your points Jeff in that the first time we saw dinosaur I love the concept by the way I love the story um, the first time we see dinosaurs on the show uh, which it, it's going up against that moment from Jurassic Park, yeah, and, yeah. and no other movie moment. really has has had to deal with that. There's yeah. been no other like, I mean, I don't think Land of the Count. Like, there's not really been a dinosaur movie. No other movie has had to tackle the moment from Jurassic Park, the Brontosaurus, yeah. the Brontosaurus moment. moment. Yeah. And this moment, I actually thought was re remarkably well shot, and very when it like it comes all the way down and keeps going, keeps going, keeps going down into our face, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we go all the way up, 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 up. up. I thought that was really cool. Um, so but I the, thought that. Did you think the effects kind of just didn't look that good? Well, no, they no, they, actually, thought they looked really good really? considering it's a TV. Yeah, I mean, like, hmm. considering. I mean, there's they're they're hit and miss, but my lord, considering how many of them there were on this TV show, um, it's just a little cheesy for me. It's yeah, just it's a little cheesy. cheesy. It, it's it's all good, up, and all I ends. like. Oof. Yeah, I mean, I, I I like. You know, this is it's like I, we don't have this genre on TV, so it's an, it's an adventure show and lost was kind of like that but lost was like this dense like it's like game of thrones lost and game of thrones and terra nova is to like robin hood prince of thieves lost, you know what i mean lost like, was jaws terra nova is deep blue sea well i don't in see the it fact that, way. that no but i'm just saying in the fact that like lost mm. you never saw like but no the this smoke is jaws i mean yeah no 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 but this was you see the thing yeah you're the just things using this are for a different there. point so i don't yeah, want to yeah i just mean true. for visual effects yeah. like the amount of visual effects and the amount that you see of them yeah you know what i mean well lost didn't have dinosaurs but like no but it had like a smoke monster the fact that they went you there you never saw it right that's what lost got by it with a lot it was like it's got by on a lot that's what i'm saying i and i hear you but the thing that I'm interested in seeing is that because this was this was all like a big movie, and I think they bit off more than they could chew, so they did a disservice to some of the moments because there was some really spotty special effects. There was some really spotty uh, coverage of moments, of action yeah. moments, because it felt like t there was a lot of TV-ness to all of it. But I think about Firefly, the first, the pilot of Firefly that we didn't really see, but we saw it on DVD, had a huge battle scene right. that we was shown in such a crappy... T but yeah. later episodes, when they hone in on just a mission, where the only special effect is that crazy future train, and the only right. special effect is the crazy future hospital, <laughs> right. when they can just do, like, train. when we go right. on, like, the mission, and it's just the one dinosaur they need to deal with, not, like, this and a this yeah. and a this, yeah. they can really dig into those moments and make that one moment special and, yeah. and feel budget-appropriate and show scope-appropriate. Yeah. And it might be a lot of fun. It's a little cheesy, but it's like kind of harmless and it doesn't, it's not annoying to me. Like some yeah. other shows are like, it grates on me. Yeah. And everything is, I'm, so, I'm, I'm so kind of like, I'm kind of in. I'm okay. kind of in. I mean, okay. I don't typically stick with TV shows after right. we review yeah, them, yeah, of course. but I'm kind of in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I uh, I was worried about this show, obviously, because of the fact that it was like, oh man, it seems like it's it's going to be so so grand. Is it going to miss the marker? Is it going to make it? And uh, I I kind of agree with both of you guys. 
Um, though I think for me, I was really excited about some of the concepts going that were deep into the show. That you know, yeah. there was sort of some writings on some things, and I was like, "Hey, <laughs> yeah, and they make a lot of excited big about, deal this. about that. Well, but, but then I think they much. fall into <laughs> the TV thing. There's a there's a basically a conversation that happens at these sort of mysterious re relics that take all of the fun mystery out of it. And it's like, that was that scene was not needed and was clearly like a TV exposition moment. I, I kind of liked it in the sense of, we're not gonna, th that message was, we're not gonna lost you. We're not gonna tease you to the point of being thing, and, and I And I, I appreciate that, but I there was definitely stuff that I'm excited to see how they extend out on. on. I disagree, I thought the cast had a really good chemistry. I thought that, oh, especially really? the Family. I thought the family right. was really. I, I I like this. And the little girl is like a, the adorable little girl. There was a good father daughter. That one moment was pretty good. With yeah. That little girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little too quick, but it oh, was good. Boy. I didn't agree at all. Yeah. yeah. But so. Uh, but I'm really excited. I mean, I think that that you know they get to the scene where um, they're sort of kids are trapped in this car and dinosaurs are coming and I felt like you could really see the TV quality. Yeah. You could really see the sort of elbows. But I agree with you. I think it, yeah. as it gets into more Monsters of the Week literally. Yeah. They show this like dinosaur. It's awesome. This like slack, smart idea for a di yeah. interesting dinosaur and it's attacking. It's like ferocious. It's a CG. Yeah. You know, it's this crazy thing. Yeah. And then like and then, then they're in the car and, and it goes it's like it goes <laughs> it's, like, yeah. it's like and it's going like that. Where it's like it's move. It's like got all this yeah. move and then also it's yeah, it's like, can I t <laughs> we're trying to take yeah, them, please, even like, though we ripped off it iron sucks. doors. Like, you see why they did that. Like, that's you, the problem. I get it, that's but the problem. boy, it's so just a I, I'm really excited about it. It's on my yeah. list of things to watch. I'm yeah. excited to see how it expands over the uh, over over the season. Um, yeah, and I'd love to see a bottle episode oh. from this series. Like, what is that going to be? Trapped in a car. Trapped in a thing. <laughs> yeah. car the whole episode. Um, yeah. Can I say two, off yes. topic but similar? Yes. This showcased what we are seeing now in a lot of things. As our future is in see-through glass computers, and I am excited for that initially. <laughs> like I want my next iPhone will be glass. Like I feel like I was and, and I was watching the show, and I'm like, yeah, that is awesome. And and then I thought more about it, and I realized that like that's not no one's. It's not use. It's not better because like when you're when you need to see something on your phone, if you can see. If I see you yeah. looking at me when I'm looking at my if you phone, get a text, like, just, I'm going to want to go into fiance, a fake mode. Your fiancé sends you like a naughty picture, well, not, not and I'm looking that. at the thing, That's and I go, true. wow, backwards, she is awesome. Yeah, and that was a moment in the show where you see him like text text. Yeah, 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 yeah. But even beyond that, like, it's just a natural human thing. Like, we need to we see, like, like clearly, not things. with, like, so... You know what? The more right? you know, the more I you wanted know. it too, guys. Dan, I Trak it too. Dan Trachtenberg sci-fi. So Terra Nova is definitely a check it out. Uh, it was came out Monday. Next episode's going to be Monday. I'm going to check it out. You're going to check it out. We got a maybe from I this think, guy. I think you'll probably check it out. We'll see what happens. You'll, you'll check it out if everyone says it's good, which yeah. is what I'll do. Check, check it out. out. All right, everybody, be sure to stick around for this day in rat history. But first, we want to thank our sponsors. Jeff I've uh, been compiling a list of suckers. Okay. And the way that I determine whether you are on the list. Yes, is. If you pay full price for clothes. Are you a sucker? Alex Albrecht? I don't think so now, no. Let me check my list. Check it twice. Suck. Damn it. You are a sucker. He's like the Santa Claus of assholes. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you talking all the time about Kid Robot, Hurley, Stussy, all your favorite Brizans. I know. Skate brands, I play cool full brands. Full price. I play them all the you time. You pay full price because you're a sucker MC. But guess what? People who are not suckers, i.e. our viewers, can That's get true. those same premium brands up to 80% off every single day. Every single day there's a sale. Because there mm -hmm. is a club, invite only club. I like clubs. It's Ew. called Jack Threads. I'm a member of the club. Can you invite me? No. Damn it. Guess what? You're not no. only a member of the club, you're the president. <laughs> I wish I was the president. I wish I was the president, but I'm not. I'm only in the club. They, uh, they've got all the cool brands in this club, but there is a wait list to join the club. Oh. That's why you can't join. Shmew. If only you were a viewer of our show. I am. I make what? it. <laughs> no, you don't view it. Oh, damn it. Don't tell Alex, but if you go to jackthreads.com slash TRS. What'd you just say? You'll get instant <laughs> access to all the killer hookups. Are you talking to the viewers or the creators? Don't tell Alex, because he's still a sucker. Okay, I gotta watch it now. <laughs> jackthreads.com slash TRS. Go now. Do it. All right, people. We'll see you later.
Tomorrow on the show, we check out the new Ultimate Comics number ones, X-Men and Spider-Man. Today is September 29th, and on this day in rad history, back in 1985, MacGyver Whoa. premieres on ABC. To commemorate allowing it, guys, me we should sing the thing song. I'm gonna go play hockey. Uh, I think uh, you should hand me some chewing gum and a band-aid and uh, a piece of... And we'll make uh, something explode. Yeah. <laughs> and a paper Maybe. Clip. And we'll... Uh, Dude! It's my Did you know, I, my dad and I watched oh, the show I love, together. Oh, we oh, no, it was like an was appointment thing. viewing. Yeah. And I loved, I, I loved that song. Love it. It's my favorite of those. And I loved, you know, seeing stuff in the opening credits and then hoping one day I would see the episode with that oh, air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For MacGyver, I saw them. I saw them. Yeah, yeah. you did all of them? Remember, what was his name? Murdoch or something? He had a nemesis? I always remember the guy with the eye that twitched every time he lied. That could that have been cool. the nemesis No, that guy. was his My, best friend. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, the bald, bald guy. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, at, no, under, no, no, not at that guy. Matt underscore pointer. That guy's dead now. Portner. Portner. His friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the 80s. It's all the 80s. <laughs>